and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my very late monthly favorites for June. It's only what, like July? Okay, it's July 6th, that's sad. Um, so to be honest with you, I kind of forgot about it. I have been swamped with work, like just swamped. So I kind of forgot, I'm really sorry guys. I'm really, really trying to get back into a full swing of videos and things like that, but it just hasn't been feasible. And on top of that, I haven't been able to wear false lashes because my allergies have been just like so terrible that I can't even function with false lashes on right now. So very frustrating. That's probably why my eyes look extra small today um, because obviously I'm not wearing any falsies. Sad. Anyway, so today I'm here with my monthly favorites for the month of June. I asked my friend Jordan and she was like, yeah, you should still do them. So, and I guess it's never too late to be excited about a product or to get a new product. So I do have one like fail of the month. Um, sorry, I keep looking over here. These two crazies are playing king of the castle on their cat tree. Um, so at any rate, um, let's get into the monthly favorites for June. been going kind of one of two ways this month. I've either gone with like a super warm tone look or a super cool tone look and that'll definitely be evident in a lot of my favorite picks for the month. Um, and I've got some new stuff and we might get a help. Okay. Um, and I do have some new stuff that I you guys recently saw in a haul um, and all of that has kind of come into play this month. So we'll talk about all the favorites and then we'll go into the, the flops or the veils or the Hello, sorry if the camera angle keeps moving guys. I'm getting lots of extra help today. So, um, as I mentioned, I've been super busy for the month of um, June. And so I haven't had a lot of time to really um, focus on my makeup. So I've kind of been jumping to one look or the other, kind of depending on which outfit or lipstick or whatever I feel like wearing that day. But one thing I've been using a ton this month is a BB cream. And I've never really been a BB cream kind of person. I've always been a full coverage girl, or at least I thought. Um, but I'm really loving this particular BB cream. It's the Dream Pure BB with 2% salicylic acid from Maybelline. Sorry, mine is gross. Um, and it, this is in the shade Light Sheer Tint. But I gotta say, for, um, um, for a BB cream, this has really, really good coverage. Um, I was impressed. Now, it says that it helps to clear up your acne. I don't know if it does or not. I, I didn't notice that personally. Um, but, and I do have some skin issues that I'm working on. Um, but I do really like it. I think it gives a nice, like, more sheer coverage. And I do really enjoy it. And to apply that this month, I'm using the new, and uh, pardon me, it's dirty, the new e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush that I picked up in that haul the other week. and this brush. You guys, this brush is amazing. Um, no exaggeration, it has kind of taken the place of my very expensive beauty blender, and this brush is six dollars. So um, it's just a dense um, domed brush, and so it, it kind of moves around with the foundation. I've tried it with both liquid foundation and BBs, and I've also tried it with my powder foundation and I love it for both. It just does such a nice job of buffing into the skin and I don't know, I just love it. So it's six dollars. Um, if you don't already own a brush like this, um, I didn't think I was gonna like it because I've always been a sponge applicator type foundation girl, um, but this, this has changed my mind. So I definitely recommend this. Um, let's keep it going with the face products. Um, so I kind of feel like a jerk mentioning this, um, but I mention it because in case you haven't gotten it and in case you still can find it, because I know some places still have it if you live in a small town like I do, you got it later than everybody else and so it may or may not have sold out as fast. And this, I think I might have even mentioned it in last month's favorites, I can't remember. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Bare in Mind, which was their limited edition um, packaging with the like, um, like the NARS style packaging and this is what it looks like and I just 
it's so buttery and smooth and I just I love it it's just the most gorgeous um, just like warming up the face natural bronzer for fair skin girls like me so if you can still find it you can still get your hands on it this thing will last me forever so um, if you can still get your hands on it I highly highly recommend it uh, I think I might have mentioned this last month I can't even keep up anymore um, so when I've been wearing my warmer look I've been wearing the Milani Baked Blush in Luminoso, which this is what it looks like. It's just this like beautiful glowy peachy blush and I, I love it. I'm obsessed with it. It's really inexpensive, but it's so pretty and everybody loves it. So there's a reason that everybody loves it. Um, and it gives this nice like natural peachy warmth to the skin. Um, so I've been wearing this for my warm look and then when I've been wearing my neutral or cooler tone look I've been wearing this Tarte blush. So this is a Tarte blush in Fearless and it's one of their Amazonian clay blushes. It's just this great like neutral, um, neutral to cool pink shade. It just gives this nice natural flush to the skin. It's nothing fancy or crazy. Um, and you can definitely sheer it out and it just looks so nice and natural and just kind of goes with everything. So as you guys know, I picked up the e.l.f. Um, blush, contouring blush and bronzing powders in Turks and Caicos and St. Lucia. St. Lucia I already knew I loved. I owned it. I already knew I loved it. And so I picked up a new one. That's what that looks like. So it has like a warm tone bronzer on the side and a nice like peachy pink blush. And I've been wearing this one with my more neutral looks also. Um, these just have such a nice pigmentation for the price tag. These are $3 and it just, they're just so nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just the most nice natural look. Um, it's kind of a warm tone bronzer. Um, a little bit darker than the Bear in Mind bronzer. Uh, and then I also picked up the Turks and Caicos one. And this one is much more cool to neutral. And, and I've really been enjoying this set also. So love those, love those. And they're $3 a pop and you get two shades. So I highly recommend both of those. I think they might have a couple of other ones, but I've never used any of those. But the ones I do have, I'm pretty crazy about. And one last bronzer that I missed, I don't know how I missed it, um, is the new Sephora bronzer in Fiji. And this is just a nice, like, cool toned um, bronzer for contouring. Um, kind of mid-range bronzer, I would say. So it's like a terrible swatch, but it's a nice, like, cool to neutral tone bronzer. I've been using it for contouring and kind of warming up the face. I love it. It's a little on the pricier side than I was expecting. It's like 17-ish dollars. Um, I think I mentioned that when I talked about it in the haul, but it is a really nice bronzer. So if you're looking for something that's kind of in that mid range, this is a great option for you. So we've got a couple more things. So I want to talk to you about eyeshadow next. So when I've been wearing my cool tone eyeshadow and I wore this in one of my last videos, I don't remember exactly which video it's the, um, color pop metamorphosis, um, eyeshadow quad from coffee break with Danny obviously and you guys know how much I love her I talk about it all the time and it comes in the the four quad shades and I've been really enjoying this quad all together and I've been enjoying using lots of different eye bases um, like some of the different elf eye bases and things like that so on my cooler tone days particularly I've been using um, kindness over various different kind of bases to kind of see what will come out um, and I'm planning on doing a tutorial because someone asked if I could do, if I would do the tutorial. So I certainly will. Um, coming soon, guys, I swear. And then the last um, look has kind of been the same, really. Um, and that is a more warm tone look. And I've really been loving, again, I think I mention this like every month or more, the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I swear, I did not think I was going to be as excited and love a neutral eye, I mean, a, well, yeah, neutral and a matte eyeshadow palette as much as I love this one. Like, I really, I just didn't. And I've really been concentrating in this warm area and sometimes in the neutral, I barely touch the cool. 
Um, but what I'll do is I'll wear some of these shades with these two ColourPop eyeshadows. And these are the shades Shark Attack and Coconut. So Shark Attack is like this gorgeous, like peachy, orange, shimmery gorgeousness. Sorry, I was staring at it in the, in the monitor there. Um, and it just makes such a nice lid shade. Like, I just can't get over it. And then, oddly enough, so there it is right there. Kind of on my knuckle, it's not the greatest watch. And then, oddly enough, to kind of go with that, I have been pairing it with this gorgeous shade in Coconut, which is like beautiful blue shade. It's like a peacock blue. So it's just the most gorgeous like peacock blue shade and I will actually wear that on my lower lash line a lot and I'll wear the um, other one on my lid. So love it, love it, love it. So good. So additionally, um, some lippies for the month that I've been loving. Um, I've really been enjoying two different brands of lipsticks for the month. Uh, no, I don't know why that's in there. A random thing got stuck in there. Um, I've been enjoying the ColourPop Lippy in Tootsie, um, which is just like that brownie nude shade with some pink undertones. I've been wearing this a lot with my cooler tone looks. And then I've also been obsessed with the new Maybelline Creamy Mattes. These are two of the new shades that I picked up. And I pretty much grab for these almost daily. If I'm not wearing Tootsie, I'm wearing one of these depending on kind of what my look is. When I'm wearing a warmer look, I'll use Clay Crush. And running out of real estate. I use Clay Crush, which is a nice like terracotta color. And I'm kind of, I mix that with something else on my lips today. Um, or I'll wear Nude Nuance, which is a little bit cooler. Um, has some more red tones in it. Um, as a nude. So I'll wear one of those. I've pretty much worn nude lips all month except for the fourth, which is not even June. So whatever. And lastly, please don't shoot me when I tell you what my fail is. I wanted to like this. I really did. It's really expensive and I wanted to like it, but it creases under my eyes and I just don't like it that much. And it's the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Coverage Concealer. And I wanted to like this. I really, really did because it's so expensive. And I don't know why I didn't take it back. I probably should have just taken it back. I wear the color Fair Neutral, by the way. But it creases under my eyes really, really badly. And I know it has nothing to do with anything else that I'm using because I've been using the same other products. This was the only thing that had changed, like, in my eye area. And I set it with all sorts of different setting powders. And it just... It just kept creasing. So I wanted to like it, but sadly, I don't think it's worth the price tag for me. I think my NYX one works as well, maybe better. So I think I'm just gonna stick with the NYX moving forward. And I just like, when they had the sale at Ulta, I like stacked up on the, the NYX concealer because it's good stuff. So that wraps up my monthly favorites and one kind of fail for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Otherwise, look uh, look for some more videos coming your way hopefully soon. Um, and I'm going to try to pick back up. I'm not going to be able to do Falsies Friday every week, but I'm going to try to pick that up and do that a little more often than I was doing it before. Um, four times a month isn't feasible anymore for me, but maybe once or twice a month. Um, so let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. Anything I should be trying out or any additional tips you have on making the Naked Skin Concealer work a little better. Because um, obviously I still have it. I'm going to keep it. So otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching these very late June favorites. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.